I used to have a business called Plus Size Planet and I would have events for plus size women and often I would see four or five women wearing the same club outfit and so I knew that there was a need for plus size clothing. So I started with an online business and quickly I learned that the need was more for dresses. So we launched our first store over six years ago and it just it hit the ground running. From the day we opened the door we had a lot of customers and we had a lot of women who were really in need of dresses so we found the right niche at the right time. I've been running Maximum Woman for seven years. Uh, currently I have seven employees. We've been um, doing annual sales of half a million dollars consistently for the past six years. Our customer base is very diverse. We do uh, have a sort of trendy young vibe but at the same time because we specialize in formal wear we have the prom girls who are 16 and we have the mother and the grandmother of the bride and groom so we carry um, everything for everyone and I just decided that at the end of the day I wasn't going to go down without a fight so I started to bring out a lot of um, innovative ideas like I teamed up with another retailer she carried club wear and I carried more formal and career uh, so I brought her in to share my space that really helped me through a tough year we built our entire business on customer service and I knew when we got into the business that we were going to have to compete with big companies who had the monopoly and that we were going to have to be able to set ourselves apart. They make me feel very comfortable every time I walk in, bright smile, ready to help. They're always, they look at you and they know what's going to suit you. And we have driven across the city to a person's house who couldn't come out. We actually met some customers at the airport during a layover not too long ago with dresses because UPS had lost their order and they frantically searched through the suitcases to find something to go out. And we just, we go above and beyond, that's our philosophy with each and every customer and that's how we've developed such a loyal following. And one of the things that we're really focusing on is creating our own clothing line. Um, we have done a few pieces in the past and we really want to launch a strong line for the summer. I find a lot of the really great styles stop at a certain size and that there are a lot of women who are a little bit bigger than that that can't find things that are young and trendy. So we really wanted to overcome that problem. MicroSkills was really instrumental in my success. I went through the self-employment program and it gave me the sort of confidence to launch my business and uh, the knowledge to sort of run things efficiently. So I have a strong loyalty to, to them and for that reason I really do everything I can to sort of give back. For me, it's important to give back to the community. I've had the opportunity also to work with the Canadian Women's Foundation and do public speaking. And I also have worked with some other organizations doing training and mentoring. What's different in your store versus some of the other major retailers that are chain driven that are in plus sizes? We specialize in dresses. We don't want to go head to head with our competition who's been in business and dominated the industry forever. Everybody goes to prom, a wedding. They come to our store in tears because they haven't been able to find anything. So if you're 16 or you're 65 or a corporate mom or a soccer mom, like this is all there is. Everyone that comes into us says we're so sick of the competition. We're so sick of everything else. We love you. We love you. Um, we were on Dragon's Den. We turned down a deal for a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, the Dragons later voted us best pitch of the season, so I have a lot of pride about that. They really knew that we had our stuff together. You have impressed me another level. I often said that I went into micro sales wanting to be a better businesswoman, but I left wanting to be a better woman, period. And I really think that this journey over the last seven years has helped me in that way. Winning the MicroSkills Business Excellence Award, it means a lot to me. It's, um, it's a measure of success and it's also, for me, coming from the organization that I started from, it, it means that they recognize that um, I've been a good part of their program, that I've contributed, that I've come out on top, and that I'm still standing. Accenture proudly presents MicroSkills 2012 Business Leadership Award to Rena Rovanelli.